members of the governing boards. Um, it's a little intimidating, never actually spoke in front of this many current and former bosses before. Uh, I want to congratulate you on your joint approval of the water supply plan. I am proud of this journey that we have taken collaboratively together for the benefit of our water resources and our water supply for our citizens and for the protection particularly and restoration of our water resources. Having participated in this process from the beginning, uh, actually with many of you, I feel uniquely the person that's been in it from DEP's perspective, Swanee's per perspective, and now St. John's perspective. And I definitely understand and value the effort that's required to get so many people around so many tables so many times to collaborate, negotiate, and get to the plan. So uh, that's culminated in our first ever regional water supply plan. I think it's important. It's not perfect, but it is important. It's a big step forward. So from data collection through communication and outreach and everything that's in between, this plan stands squarely on our science and provides a roadmap for the future. Not that it won't be amended and updated as provide, provided for in statute. We will be revisiting this with all of you going forward. I'm very thankful for the action that has been taken today by these governing boards, but I'm thankful for the support of DEP and the participation of our stakeholders, too numerous to count, literally, uh, and especially those on the uh, stakeholder advisory committee, as you heard in comments, some of them didn't really know that they were signing up for quite what it ended up being, um, but how important that was. Uh, and everybody, particularly our stakeholders and our governing board members, gave generously of their time. And that's for the regional benefit of our water supply and our citizens and our water resources. I'm also very proud and very thankful for the tireless and best efforts of the staffs of both water management districts. Well done. Well done. As we celebrate this milestone, we will continue working together on common challenges and those solutions that are needed. Both districts and DEP, I think it's important to note, and it's been said already, but these organizations have brought dollars already to the table to incentivize water conservation and alternative water supply projects. None of us have waited, under your guidance, none of us have waited uh, because we knew that we needed to move forward with water conservation and alternative water supplies, both of which take pressure off of the aquifer, our shared resource. That is the point. In the last three years, leveraged dollars for these projects, water conservation and water supply, uh, just from the Swan uh, St. John's River Water Management District perspective, so just in, in our footprint, We've leveraged dollars to produce uh, more than $70 million worth of projects, including water conservation. They're not all built yet. This is 50 projects. Some are completed. Most are in process. And it build out the estimated benefits are 15 million gallons a day of water conservation and uh, nearly 40 million gallons a day of, to benefit the water supply. I would call that a great, sufficient start. And we will continue to plan for additional successes in uh, uh, this arena. You saw the plan. There's many, many more things on the conceptual drawing board to be looked at uh, in our cost share efforts. So again, I want to thank you, uh, staffs and governing board members, uh, for your leadership and your efforts and um, I think it's a milestone to celebrate. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'll echo um, Ann's comments and first thank both the hard work of the board and especially the hard work of the staff over the years um, put into this project. I'd like to mention as a 